Some biologists believe that oral sex may have helped the evolutionary process since sexual pleasure between mates helped early humans choose better partners. In Egyptian mythology, the goddess Isis revived her dead brother Osiris by sucking his penis. It is one of the oldest depictions of oral sex in the world. Humans aren't the only species that perform oral sex. Chinese fruit bats, bonobo chimpanzees, cheetahs, tigers, and black bears also engage in pleasuring one another orally. Ancient Romans and their neighbors were also familiar with oral sex. When archaeologists uncovered the ruined city of Pompeii, they found murals depicting the act in the city's bathhouses. One of the oldest texts on sexual positions, the Indian Kama Sutra, gives several examples of fellatio. Oral sex is a general term for stimulating the genitals with the mouth. Fellatio is oral sex that stimulates a penis, and cunnilingus is oral sex that stimulates the vagina. In medieval Europe, oral sex was banned because it was considered unnatural since it could not lead to procreation. Those guilty of cunnilingus were given four years' penance for their sin, while those who committed fellatio were given five. The Kama Sutra is one of the oldest how-tos for sexual escapades. Oral sex has earned a lot of nicknames over the past few centuries, including Goop Gobbler, Whistling in the Dark, and Going Way Down South in Dixie. The most popular nickname for oral sex dash, Blowjob, originated in the 1940s, first appearing in A Tawana Bible, a popular comic book that depicted sexual acts. Fellatio was considered a felony in almost every state in 1950. As of 2014, 12 states Alabama, Florida, Idaho, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Texas, and Utah still had anti sodomy laws on the books. White men perform oral sex earlier than all other demographic groups at an average age of 19. A man might forget where he parks or lives, but he never forgets oral sex, no matter how bad it is. There's a gender divide regarding receiving and giving oral sex. Women reported higher numbers of giving oral sex, and men said they were on the receiving end more often. The older men get, the more likely they are to perform oral sex on their partners, and guys who orally pleasure their partners are healthier than those who don't. A large percentage of teens over half believe that oral sex doesn't count as real sex, instead considering penetration the only proper way to lose one's virginity. Men who are more likely to cheat on their partners are more interested in and spend more time performing oral sex, the same is not valid for women.